Hello everyone, Dusty Flagger here, and in today's video I will be showing you how you can play Windows games on your Mac for completely free. We will be using Game Potting Toolkit and an app called Whiskey. We are not using Crossover because that's paid. Alright, to start off with, you're going to want to make sure that you are on a Silicon Mac. So this would be with M1, M2, M3, M4 chips. I'm sure they'll be out around next March or possibly at the end of the year. Anyway, I'm not an Apple leaker, so don't quote me on that. But you do need to be on Silicon Mac and you should also probably be on the latest update. Alright, the first step you're going to want to do is open up Safari or the browser of your choice. Now I'm just going to search for Whiskey app. Safari suggested. There we go. Download latest. This should download it and it should be in your downloads folder if we open up. Downloads, open up downloads and then you can go and drag it into applications. Close your browser, go to applications, double click on whiskey, press open. It will ask you if you trust it, I trust it. And then it should say dependency setup. I'm just gonna drag and drop it onto my dock. All right, whiskey wine is not installed. This is game putting toolkit pretty much. Next. All right, now we'll install it. Okay, now we still have a lot more steps to get this running and we're gonna be using Steam. But anyway, we can go ahead and press the plus or the create bottle. So a bottle is pretty much like a, I don't know, digital hard drive, you could say. So I'm just gonna call this Steam. Make sure it's on Windows 10. You can choose where you're going to put it. I will keep it where it is. I'm gonna press create. All right, now we need to download actual Steam. So we go into Safari. Search for Steam, download, go to Steam. Now this is really important. We need to press the little Windows icon or it will install the Mac version. As you can see there, it has a whiskey icon, but we don't want to open it there. We want to go and press open C drive. It might take a little while, so it needs to create it, but we can get ahead of it by opening up our downloads, copying this while we still at it. And then we can wait a little bit and it should be ready. All right, once you've installed it and copied it, we can go back into Whiskey and make sure you select Open C Drive on the Steam. Now we can go ahead and either copy or in my case, I'm just gonna drag and drop it into the subdirectory. And go Steam, bottle configuration. You can change some of this, I wouldn't. I am gonna turn on DXVK. This will help us in the later on. I'm gonna turn DXVK hard to FPS and that should be done do not turn on render mode that will not work well it will make performance really bad go back we press run and it will ask us what we want to run and we press steamsap.exe open and it could take a little while but it didn't actually next 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 finish wow that's extremely fast and it might just update Per usual, when you're installing Steam, it is going to need an update, so just be patient and it might take a little while. Another note is once it's finished updating, it might take a little while for Steam to appear. Don't freak out, it's just getting it ready. It could take like, for sometimes it's taking me up like a minute. So, just be patient. Alright, as you can see here, Steam has finally opened, so I'm going to be using my Steam mobile app. It's just the easiest way for me to log in. I'm just going to go ahead and scan the QR code. It will ask me if I approve of it. I'm going to press login. Otherwise, you can create an account if you need to or just log in with your email and password. I'm just going to choose to do it this way. Now. It's the easiest for me. It could take a little while. Again, because we're using translation layers, some things might not be as fast as you might think, but they are certainly working. As you can see here, we're on Windows Steam, and you can tell that it's Windows Steam because of these things up here like the minimize, the maximize, and the close. Buns are in the top right. All right, what app should we try? I think let's try Outer Wilds. That isn't too big and it is a 3D game. Install, install. If you're having trouble with games, going to Apple Gaming Wiki. Uh, home. This is really helpful a website made by Andrew Sai. He's a good YouTuber that does a lot of stuff on Game Porting Toolkit. And as you can see here, it's just a really great database. Let's check what's a good game I played recently, The Quarry. Let's check if this is playable. The Quarry, crossover, runs perfect. Runs well with quite low FPS. I wouldn't say that's perfect. Does not affect the gameplay, all right. And as you can see, there's sometimes comments to help you fix problems you might be having. I'm just stalling while the game is updating download 
I'll be back once the game's installed, but check Apple Gaming Wiki to check if your game's supported. But Outer Wilds should be launching again, just like Steam. It could take a little while, as you can see there, installing, running install script, Microsoft DirectX, because it needs to install these Windows dependencies. It might take a little while. And of course, performance is going to be bad if you've got an 8 gig machine. Well, not bad. It's going to be hindered if you have an 8 gigabyte machine. 8 gigs of memory. I have got 8 gigs of memory on all my Macs. Well, the two that I own. And. It, I haven't had that much issues, especially with this game. Let's see here. All right, it has opened. It did take a little while, but as you can see, we've got the FPS at the top left. Now the FPS is really low. That's just because it will probably be trying to run the game at these crazy graphics, which we know we won't be able to achieve. As you can see there, it has indeed loaded the game, which is an amazing. This is an amazing game, by the way. If you want to play it, you should definitely play it. Outer Wilds, one of the best games ever. It won't take you that long. But we're getting a really solid 20 FPS. <laughs> that's really bad, but that's probably because it's running the game at the highest settings. Alright, so I was getting a really bad frame rate. What I went and did is I disabled DXVK, and as you can see here, now we're getting a very solid frame rate. I can't exactly tell what it is, but I know it is running at more than 30 frames per second, which is pretty good. And I would consider extremely playable. As you can see, everything just works. Again, this game is not supposed to be on Mac. That's what makes this all so special. As you can see here, it is running, and it is running good. This is extremely playable. I'm having a weird issue with my mouse, but I will just say this once again. Check the game, Apple, game, Apple Gaming Wiki, and that will tell you if the game is playable, and sometimes some like hints on how to fix stuff. For example, my game was not running well, so I went and disabled DXVK. I should probably show you guys how to do that. Alright, so the way I fix it is by going into Whiskey, going to Bottle Configuration, and turning off DXVK. Most games I'd recommend having it on, but you can go ahead and turn it off if you feel like you should. Overall, in today's video, I showed you how you can install Windows games on your Mac. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.